My name is Ratsadeen, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Okay, we've got a coin to flip and then a dice to roll because, hey, let's make this as complicated as we can. So the coin, heads is going to get us greed mode, tails is going to get us, never mind, heads got us greed mode. It's our third greed mode in a run. Uh, right, and then we use random because we've got 11 different characters to run from. Right, right, right. We can stop playing so much- oh god. Blue Baby, Magdalene, Lazarus, just the solid D grade of characters. We can stop using so many... Uh, this is a horrible start. We can stop having so many read mode runs as soon as we get into a position where we already have the Keeper unlocked. Because I want to have the Lost holding the Holy Mantle. Holy shit! Okay, that's pretty good. I want to have the Lost holding the Holy Mantle, and I want to have the Keeper. And then, at that point, I can feel pretty secure about stopping playing Greed Mode for a while. Up until that point, I just fucking like Greed Mode, to be honest. It encapsulates all of the things I like about the game, like the strategic item choi- uh, choicing. I was about to use the word choicing, as though it's a word. Ugh. About the strategy of choosing items, the way in which you want to manufacture and build a run. It's got the strategy of all of those things, and it's got all of the fast-paced action of fighting enemies and dodging and all of that kind of jazz stuck in there. I really dig Greed Mode a lot. I think it's actually real, real cool. I don't think it's an alternate mode. As far as I'm concerned, Greed Mode is more of a... I mean... It's, it's not like a second consideration game mode. It's just as relevant and just as fun to play as the other modes. Although I should also do the daily today. That's probably a good idea. I did the daily yesterday on my casual account. And it was, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the abysmal one, right? Most people died in the first boss room. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Hopefully, whatever one I get rolled into now is not the same, because good lord, it was atrocious. Okay, nothing, nothing, and nothing. Excellent. If I can purchase a bomb and a key, I'll do that instead of getting an item. Alright, I can get a key, so I'll do that still. I definitely don't need the health, probably not the blue map either. Oh, look, it's a bomb. Well, I lied, it's five bombs. Plus, they've got the Bomb Boy Explosive Blast. Kind of wanted to spawn an enemy on top of them, see if that would work out for me. I mean, it would have, but it just didn't happen that way. Right, one of them's dead. The other one is also deceased. Ah, oh, goddammit. Wait, what? It looked like it missed, and it still killed at least two of them. <laughs> and maimed a third. Ah, oh, it's a good one. That plus Butt Bombs is really good, because Butt Bombs seems to count that as, like, 10 different bombs blowing up. So it goes kind of crazy. It's like a thousand damage Necronomicon every single bomb. Actually, if I can get Butt Bombs at this point, this synergy rocks my socks so much. But I'll just go straight for it. Ooh, okay, hang on, hang on. God, I was really hoping that was going to work out for me. All right. So we want to get the deal with the devil first and then trade away as much health as we can to the deal with the devil and then take the guppies, uh, guppy. You know, the guppies guppy. So that we're not making as much of a loss on the... Holy fuck! Are we... Are we already guppy? I should have taken those in the other order. But my understanding is that this guppy won't disappear. It'll just stay there. And then we'll have more lives. Oh, right, 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 right. The same guppy piece can't count twice towards becoming guppy. Damn it. But we do have 17 lives. So that's cool. Uh, just one piece. One piece away. From true, utter bliss and happiness. Uh, I need the speed as Maggie, let's be honest. 
as much as I might want the bombs, I need the speed. I've got a need. A need for speed. Alright. Let's get this. And another one for good measure. Actually, I shouldn't have done that yet. I should have opened this first. Yeah, because I got keys in it, so... I fucked up. Oh! Now, if there's ever an item that can save a run... It's probably Proptosis, but uh, also this item exists and it's pretty good, so that's cool. Rubber Cement is the only item in the game that allows you to hit the same enemy twice with the same tier. Unless, of course, something's been added in Afterbirth. That is uh, Rebirth specific information. Okay, Turkey. Oh, sh the low damage is really hurtful. Okay, I'll tell you what happened there. My nose got super itchy. <laughs> so I decided to take my hand off the keyboard and scratch my nose, because, yeah, sure, that's a, that's a forgiving idea. It'll work out for me. No, it turns out, not gonna work out. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, we could get the tears up. Let's uh, scratch our nose a little more before we get back into this room. Oh, if only there was one more scent. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely go for the HP plus tears up plus shot speed down, the blue cap. God, I fucking hate this wave. Because there's nothing I can do about it right now. Like... Alright, let's just, uh, continue shooting at the same wave. 5,000 years. It's not gonna get boring at all. It does. It does get boring. Right. Please actually die just any of these enemies at any point whilst being shot. If you could just be deceased, that would actually be very helpful for me. Oh, good lord. Imagine me trying to do this without the cozy pajamas. Ooh. The hell? Okay. Just try and kill the things that are going to be directly spawning the more uh, the most enemies, and then kill the things that will also be spawning a bunch of. Oh, what have I got myself into? Should be using bombs a little more actively than I am. Going on here. Very nice, very nice. Clear you up as well. Oh, last as well. Nice. That's actually not bad, because now I can actually power myself up in some significant way. More tears means more bounces, means more grab control, means I don't fucking know. Maybe we might not suck so much. Damage. Damn it. All I wanted for Christmas was damage. on. Okay. Slow jump, fine. I just, I just want him to be super fucking slow on all of his attacks. Because my killing is going to take a while. You might want to go take a barista's course, first off. Because you're going to end up making yourself a mug of coffee at the very end of this joke. But... I want you to have a good mug of coffee, and you've definitely got time to take up a barista's course. I mean, what's that? One and a half years, I believe, for full accreditation as a barista? You can do that. Now, Husk is uh, going to kill us, and that's going to be an interesting thing to have happen. Because, yeah, we have to fight Mega Fatty again. Oh! That's good news! Oh, I feel really happy about it. Did I? Yep. <laughs> yeah. 
I killed myself. All right. And again! Oh my god, he sucked me into my own bomb. Now I don't actually have bombs to hit him. All right. Well, let's see how many... Uh, This is a war of attrition at this point. Got... In reality, a total of nine items, because two of them are dead cat, and one of them isn't counted. It's the guppy's head that I'm holding. So we've got a, rea a reality of nine items, no damage ups, one small tears up. We're having a wild time, as you can probably tell. The most beautiful thing about it is every single time we die here, even if we do have... Mega fatty killed. You just have to redo it. <laughs> oh. Is this... Is this purgatory? Have I managed to find my way into purgatory? I'm not even a particularly religious person I'm here. Well, I mean, my understanding is that that's a qualification for ending up there. Mm. Did you just kill fucking... Did you just kill Husk by jumping on him? Are you the best co-op teammate of all time? Okay. That was an accidental dodge. I'm not even going to take credit for that. <laughs> yeah. That was a fast jump, so I got real scared about the prospects of me dying there. Okay. Just calm down. We're fine. All we need to do... Double pay you. Please get a re-roll. Oh, shit, we did. Uh, here's what we do. We need to finish this without taking damage. I realize. Tall ask. But we've got another 11 attempts. <laughs> we got attempts. Oh, man, do we ever have a number of attempts. All right. I'm focusing on uh, Gertie first because Gertie Girl is going to be the biggest problem for me personally. Oh, never mind. We're dead again. This is what happens when you still have lower than base speed because you're playing Maggie with only one speed up. It's just what happens, yo. And of course, when you have no knockback. It's also worth noting. Okay. Nope. See, one of my problems is I like to run directly away from them. If you're wondering why I'm not using the reroll in the shop right now to reroll the cat's head, it's because if I can become Guppy, the run is salvaged immediately. Like, it's, it's fine from that point on. So, since this fight is going to qualify me for the deal with the devil, I am trying to get into the deal with the devil and then reroll the items in there to see if I can become Guppy this floor. God damn it. I knew that was going to happen. I oh, was so close that time as well. All right. We've got more attempts. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it done eventually. Law of large numbers, right? In a large enough set, each number has to occur once, right? I think that's the law of large numbers. Oh, good lord. How fucking dare you just run directly? Oh, God, again! I hate those. See, the thing is, if I'm course correcting myself, which is what I'm constantly doing, if I'm course correcting myself and I suddenly get charged at, I don't fucking know how to deal with it. I'm really... Oh, of course. Walk straight over the creep. My bad. I'm really put off by it. Okay. Okay. This is the best attempt so far. We've taken no damage and we've just got Gertie Girl left. Gertie Jr., I believe. Hang on. Oh. And just get a side dodge on that one. That's how it should always be. Never dodge backwards against it. Just dodge the side. Don't worry. I understand the theory. I'm well aware of the theory. Excuse me. Well aware of... Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm well aware of the theory of dodging her. It's just the practice that I find difficult. The fact that you can't disincentivize the direct charge in any fashion 
like you can with all other enemies in the game. Like, slow it down by shooting at them and stuff like that. You can't do anything with that. And, of course, just how blindingly quick it is. Okay. No! Fuck. Yeah, I was pretty much just in the cross zone for that. Alright, I got three lives left. It's okay. This is the downside of Dead Cat. If you're not powerful enough, sometimes in some runs, you're just going to have to watch yourself die. <laughs> A bunch. And again. Looks like uh, this one's not going to be a super successful run. And we're dead. Cool. You'll notice a lot of the time when I died to that attack, the charge from Gertie, it's because I was... Correcting my path, and this is what I was saying when I was saying path correction, auto correction, stuff like that. Um, it's because I was... Are you fucking kidding me? That one didn't hit me. Alright, I've only got one laugh left, so I actually have to re-roll in here. Let's just see if I can get something to save me. Bombs are key. It's not going to be enough. Actually, it might be. Oh, God. Gotcha. Alright. I need a miracle. This is not going to help! God fucking damn it! Oh, Alright, that's a cruel world. That is a cruel, cruel world. Okay, we've got a key off the bat. I like it. Got a familiar doing 3.5 damage. Not bad. Which familiar do I want first? Uh, the one with the homing shots goes second. I mean, this isn't abysmal. It's the best thing I can say about it. Speed up, okay. Retrovision, eh, bad trip. Eh, I don't really care. Got health down here, don't I? Yeah, I do. Just a full heart, casually. Okie dokie. So, Steven is going to be doing 3.5 damage, so is Isaac's head, and I, by base, do 3.5 damage. So it's almost like I've got a 3 damage multiplier, assuming all of the tiers hit. And we all have relatively similar tier rates at this point. So at this point, consider it as though I'm just super powerful. When in reality, these guys aren't going to scale with me. And I kind of need things to scale. Alternatively, they do scale with me because I get like double damage for them. Which would be dope as hell. That would be BFF and that would have to happen in the shop. Huh? Ah, oh, there was a jumper down here. My bad. We're up the bottom row. And now it's just the fucking crazy legs. Oh, I hate you guys. These aren't the crazy legs, though. These are just the small, long legs. The crazy legs are the red ones who flip the fuck out and start just destroying you anytime you feel comfortable in your own skin. Uh, I guess guaranteeing no curses is actually probably worth it. I'll definitely take the red candle. For the same reason that I took it last run. Just because it helps me destroy all of the dudes who can drop the head of the keeper. They can drop the steam sail. They can just drop money as well. It helps me destroy all those dudes. Okay, this should... Yep. <laughs> I was about to say, this should kill normal Steven. Yes, it did. And then little Steven kills little Steven. Suicidally poetic. All right, Polycephalus, let's see what you got. Mm, looks like nothing. I'm seeing nothing in terms of what you've got. Oh, never mind. You hit me once. You can claim that you have something then. Uh, hit me twice. Hit me once. Shame on you. Hit me twice. Shame on you again. How dare you? You already hit me once. Why would you hit me again? Hit me three times. Can't hit me three times. Oh, 
told that same joke in Fallout. God damn it. Uh, Alright. Let's take it. GB, baby. Game breaking bug right away. Don't really need it though. I just want to destroy the spawners. It's always one of my immediate. Uh, I get. What would you call it? One of my immediate priorities. There we go. Just destroy anything that spawns more enemies. Oh, Abaddon. Okay, that's uh, that's a speed up as well, isn't it? I believe that plus the previous speed up. Like it doesn't say it's a speed up on the list, but I think it's also a speed up. That plus the previous speed up should be enough for me to get out of Maggie's kind of horrible rut of base speed. Okay. Nice, very nice. HP plus tears up. Very keen to have it. Uh, shots me down as well, but I don't particularly care about that. It's not really a negative yet. Damn it. Okay. What do we want and when do we want it? Now. Gonna take this key. Check out in here. Alright. Fine. If we get BFF, this run is suddenly super valid. If we don't get BFF, well, fuck my life. I believe is what the kids are saying these days. Or are they still saying M-L-I-A for my life is average? Yes, that's right. I was a child of 2006. Or I was a teenager in 2006. I believe I was, right? Uh, yeah, I would have been 13 in 2006. Good lord. Alright. Clear him. And you as well, you bony motherfuckers. I mean, it looks like I'm doing really well at the moment, but... It's not gonna maintain itself into the later game. Like, these guys will stop being effective. Unless I get BFF. Also, it's kind of annoying having to control them. Makes it really difficult to position myself optimally to try and avoid damage whilst getting their damage in. That's why the Trinket Child's Leash exists. So that you can keep your friends closer and aim them more easily. However, I don't have access to that at the moment. And also, I'd have to drop Isaac's head to pick it up. So I would make it less useful by picking it up. Very nice candle shot there, if I may say so myself. Now, that would actually probably be stupidly damaging. You know what? I'm gonna do it. For science, yo. So this should do a stupid amount of damage if it lands. But uh, none of these are slow enough at the moment to hit. Okay, that missed. At least I can justify the reason that did no damage. The outright missed. Okay, that completely killed that section of the dude, but also the dude was dying anyway, so... I don't know if that was what did it. That didn't even what? Is it not shooting out two fires at the same time? I mean, that just looks like normal damage. Two procs of that at the same time? No, I still want this to kill the shopkeepers. Alright, let's get out of here. 
Nothing particularly good happened on this floor. I mean, I guess... Uh, your definition of good. Actually, I should go back and take the HD now that I have the money for it. Okay, health up is fine. I mean, is anyone going to look at health up and go, Fuck no! Actually, yes. I've done that a bunch of times. So I should... I should walk that statement back and say, there are a bunch of occasions in which you want to say no to health up, but this is not one of them. Hello, health up again. Also, luck up. Fine. And, ooh, that is a cheap holy light. Damn, son. That is a cheap holy light. I want me some of that. I... I have no excuse for why I tried to play... <laughs> tried to play chicken with that dude. Just like, yeah, I'll fucking stand here. Come at me. I have no excuse. Now, I should just be using the fire all of the time. Because the fires from this candle actually stay on the map. So it would just help me by pretty much destroying it. Like you saw there, it actually destroyed the rest of this wave without me interacting with any of them. It's pretty good. I don't know if it actually is doing twice as much as it would originally be doing. Which is my only concern. Okay, I do have enough money for an item and a key, which is excellent. Cheap item. Perfect. Ooh. Fuck it, I'm taking this. Okay. We're going to push this all the way over to the other side of the map so that we can unlock it and another chest at the same time. Oh yes! These are the strats. Perfect. Aha! Uh -huh, free bomb! Okay. Probably don't want to blow the other one up. I'm surprised I did the first one, to be honest. It didn't really have a good chance of high return. God damn it! He's always just out of the way! God! Where the fuck is this trickster? Okay, that was a lot of damage. Uh-huh, holy light doing a goddamn incredible amount of work as well. Fearing this guy is actually super effective, if I recall. Yeah, because he just turns his back to you after you fear him. Uh-huh. And then you... Capitalize upon the opportunity and shoot him... In the back a bunch. Hey, totally legitimate strategy. Totally legitimate strategy. Alright. What have we got over here? Uh... Sack of pennies. I mean, better than not a sack of pennies. It's not... As inspiring as I was hoping for, but you know, it was better than not a sack of pens. Oh, okay. I've actually taken a lot of full hearts of damage. I was thinking, oh man, I can take a bunch more half hearts of damage. And it's true, I could take a bunch more half hearts of damage, but then I started taking full hearts of damage and I can't take many of those. Okay, good. Whew. Damn. That could have been horrible. Not to say it wasn't, but it could have been worse. Uh... No. No, I can't afford it. Yeah, my understanding is this room is full of red hearts, so I'll go in. 
take advantage of the red hearts and get out of there. Lovely. Always looking for as much money as is possible to get. None available. I guess we'll be fine. That's a tinted rock. Pfft, fucking... Oh, no. Uh, it's been changed in Afterbirth, hasn't it? It's apparently not that bad anymore. Tier rate definitely up. Luck definitely down. Speed definitely down. Is health up? I think health is up as well. Okay. Overall, I would say pretty good. Solid. Definitely want this. Rip other trinket. Uh... Well, I can get my key now, I guess. May as well. Uh, why did I get my key? I should have blown this dude up first. Never mind. He didn't give me a key. So, retroactively, correct decision. Fuck. What the? Okay, gave me a balls of steel pill. You know what? Good enough. Uh, pull those up. Alright, that, that's gonna have to be it. There's not really... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's see if we can get a lucky Steven. Or a Cricket's Head would have been good as well. You know what? Just giving me more money than I paid into it is fine as well. I'll accept it. Huh? Holy light is holy shit fucking awesome. I say as though I'm only learning that for the first time. No, I'm well aware of the powers of holy light. Good lord, is it good. It's so interesting as well because it's based off of the item Crack the Sky. Like, it takes direct assets from the item Crack the Sky. Which is widely regarded as one of the worst items in the entire fucking video game. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I don't take the time to try and shoot these guys with a candle because I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't, wouldn't really get much time to put myself in a safe position and then hit them with a candle shot. Uh, okay, I'm going to use bombs for the rerolls. Uh -uh. None of that's good. Give myself an orbital is actually pretty good. The rest of it's shit. Nope, I've already got one of the best trinkets. Tears up. Alright. Uh, might want to take a key down to the next floor with me as well, actually. I should probably consider that. Thank you for being feared, because it makes it much easier to control you. Excellent. And anyone else? Right, of course. Monstro 2. So who are we going to get for our deal with a devil fight? I wonder. We're in Womb 2. You know what? I'm going to guess that our deal with a devil fight is going to be with Mum's heart. Because I know that can happen. And I think it's totally cool. Mom's Heart is actually an awesome boss fight, as far as I'm concerned. Not the best boss fight in the game, but it's an awesome boss fight. Alright. Yeah! Alright. Ouch. <laughs> I'm just playing badly. The fight isn't bad. I'm just playing badly. Never mind. Disregard me. Lord. Oh, man! Stop with the damage, please! Hoi! I 
Could have been horrible. Okay, I guess if we're taking familiars. It's familiar time. <sighs> Alright, let's re-roll until we get more familiars. Or familiar-based things. Oh, cool. It gave me money when it blew up. Nice. Uh, sure. Full set of orbitals. I don't want to take the slowing tears as well, actually. Phew. I would have only felt really horrible about that decision if immediately after I did that, the next item to show up was BFF. <laughs> and then I locked myself out of BFF. Okay, Sheol. Things we have of- Oh my lord! Magic Mushroom. 1.5 times damage multiplier, also other good things. Mongo Baby is also going to be pretty good for us as well. Uh-huh. Can I get Mongo Baby before I even leave? Uh, you're a key beggar, so you can get fucked. Anything here? Uh, not really. Alright, I'll just heal up check for a tinted rock which i don't think there were no there aren't cool move out uh all right i'll just get my key we'll come back from mongo baby okay definitely worth my while what the hell was that first wave it spawned and then stopped existing I need to check back on that in slow-mo. Can't imagine that I just did an incredible amount of damage to it. I don't really have, like, area-based damage at all. Like, if I had Succubus, I would understand. Succubus and a lot of base damage. Because Succubus would just fly over the top of it and immediately kill it. Ooh, luck up. Nice. Only just managed to... Keep myself safe in that corner there. Damn! Got a whole 10 cents from the sack of pennies. It's going fucking berserk up in this bitch. Okie dokie. What is this down here? The world shows me we haven't got a secret room this floor. I actually... I don't know if the secret rooms in... This mode are referred to as secret rooms or super secret rooms. Because hmm. if they're referred to by the game as super secret rooms, then they're not going to show up, are they? Uh, D8 rerolls your stats. I don't really want that. Question mark card is double my active. I don't like that. Oh. Should take the health. Alright. Fine. Let's continue the fights. Super uninspiring item gets at the moment. So yeah, Mongo Baby, it looks like it's mimicking Auto Turret Baby at the moment. With a higher fire rate. And Auto Tur Turret Baby already has a pretty fucking high fire rate. So the damage output if something small gets near to me is going to be kind of insane. Fire Ragman. Is this four fucking Ragman? Are you kidding me? Do you know how difficult this would be if I didn't have surprisingly high damage? If I didn't have the magic mushroom even, this would be so much more annoying. Uh, multi-dimensional baby. I'm not taking Moonstar. I mean, I did say I was just going to take babies. I mean, look, if the baby gets out in front, all of our shots are going to be duplicated. So that's going to be kind of cool, but it's not going to happen that often. Okay, we're in the shop. Nothing in here. Come on, this is the last floor we can get BFF on. Come on, be a friend. God damn it. Get this guy to 
Goddamn burn. Thank you. Oh. Very glad I was uh, patient there. Yeah, we are going to have to pick up an item first. Speed plus range is fine. Oh, cool. I'm a fun guy. Which I believe is just one HP up. Well, this is a shame. I think we have to save the rest of our money for donation. Otherwise, the run isn't even really worth doing. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, this definitely is a shame. But I did know when I picked this build at the very start, when I allowed myself to kind of choose into it, I did know that there was a very, very small likelihood that I was actually going to end up with, uh, with the final item for, what is it, uh, BFF. There we go. Okay. Still got one more opportunity to become individually powerful. That's gonna be our deal with the devil. Damn, that's a lot of fucking dudes. That's gonna be a lot of money. And, best of all, we don't need the bombs to destroy them. We can destroy them ourselves. Without fire. Mm hmm. Another five cents there. Another two dudes there. Okay. This one's unlikely to hold anything, but I'll do it anyway. Head of the keeper. Excuse me. Head of the keeper. No, but that's a lot of money. Alright. It's nothing I want. Okay, these are the bosses, not the super bosses. Sorry, the uh, deal with the devil bosses. Deal with the devil bosses. Weirdly, I don't know if this is intentional or just a bug, but the deal with the devil bosses for this specific floor, the shop, it's always double, uh, double stain. Now nah, it doesn't seem normal, just because there's no other scenario in which there is like a constantly set, always boss. Not in greed mode. Uh, except for, I guess, ultra greed. Even the fight before ultra greed is not always, you know, the same. So this doesn't seem normal to me, but maybe it's just, you know, to test out a bunch of different builds. Like, there are certain builds that wouldn't be able to get through this particularly easily. Builds that rely on, you know, very pinpoint high amounts of damage probably wouldn't do that well here. Because you'd have a lot of difficulty maneuvering around the room and getting that pinpoint damage in behind, you know, all of the obstacles. Come on, and... I'm gonna guess you... Never mind. Let's pretend I wasn't about to say that I'm going to guess you're going to pop up there and missed. Okay. I can rock this. Damn. All right. All right. One damage up, tears up, and then I think 0.5 damage up from the pact as well. Okay. Suddenly, I'm a lot more enthusiastic about this. Using strength in the boss room is only really going to give us like 0 0.3 damage because we already have the 1.5 times damage multiple. Oh my lord. So now we actually end up with a lot of money to donate. In fact, yeah, I think we're going to have full money. I mean, I'll definitely try and get it. Yeah, there we go. Full money. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, is... Do I have the spider bite? Is that something that I picked up this run, or was that last run? Because spider bite looks like it's doing a lot of work, but it's possible that it's just the odd gish slow tier from my uh, rainbow baby. If I do have spider bite, spider bite is doing a fuckload of work. Now, I know I have full money, but I'm still picking up the money because the money would heal... Ultra Greed if he picked it up. Come on. Uh, yep. 
Actually, you know what? It's not even worth me destroying these. Not really. I mean, if I can, sure. But it's not difficult for me to deal with these guys. As it was in my last build for me to deal with these guys. That was actually annoying. Whereas right now, it's just like, oh, whatever. Okay, that almost hit me. Anything? Bombs. Safe position. We are fine. Beautiful. I fucking hate variable bomb timers. Oh man, that's caught me out so many times by launching a bomb that I didn't expect to hit me into me. Ugh. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense as a mechanic. But god, it's annoying. <laughs> I'm glad it's in the game, I guess is what I should say. I think it's a good addition, but it's one that fucks with my brain. If I can get all 99 cents in, I'm just gonna fucking flip. It's gonna be excellent. Especially as Maggie, because it means I won't have to play much more Maggie to finish my rotation. Ah! Yeah, goddamn fucker. He came at me way faster than I thought he was possible to do. Alright, you're done. You are done, buddy. There you go. 95. Good enough. Oh, and one more cent. Okay. Let's see exactly how much we can get into this machine. I'm guessing we get to about 550 and then it blows up. Where do we think 1% will happen? I think 1% will happen about 520, 525 maybe. And then I do think I'm unlucky enough for it to blow up 25 cents after that. Although that is, you know, 1 in 100 being rolled each time. It does actually carry some risk. Okay, no. We haven't got the 1% yet. 1% happened just shortly after it. About one, uh, 528. Okay, come on. Get to 550. That's what I was saying. Five fifty. Oh man, if I get all this money in. I'm probably gonna move to two percent actually at this rate as well. Yeah, we're up at two percent now. All of the money is in the goddamn donation machine. God, we're making a lot of progress towards this. It feels real good. I really like that they rebalanced. Excuse me, cars outside. I'm trying to make a point here. I really like that they rebalanced the mechanic for the greed donation. Because prior to that, it was just tedium, I've heard. Absolute tedium. Anyway, my name is Vin Rhapsody. The name of the game has been the Binding Guys Go After Birth. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself. Next time, we will be playing on hard mode because that's three greed modes in a run. I can't do greed mode again. So we'll just roll a D10 at the start of the episode, choose a character, and play from there. Uh, there's playlists in the description down below with all of my content on this video game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.